What's going on guys? George from SFA Cichlids here. It's early in the morning and we're on our way to pick up some new fish. You're not going to want to miss this. Just got out from the FedEx and the box is here. Can't wait to get home and see what's in it. All right guys, just got home. Gonna open the box and see what we got inside. So these fish came in overnight from Cichlid Lovers in Tucson, Arizona. I've ordered fish from Allen maybe three or four times before and have never had any problems. My Ruby Red group is from him and I've gotten many other groups. So what we plan on doing with these fish is growing them out here in the outdoor tub. You're gonna see the sizes and everything coming up, but we have three nice groups that can potentially be breeders for us and we'll find out in the next few months. If you're new to the channel and you like content similar to this, consider subscribing and hit the like button. It's really gonna help me out a lot. My plan is over the next year, to become your one-stop shop for all things African cichlids and general aquarium knowledge. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of when I upload new videos. These fish were shipped FedEx overnight and they were actually in the bag anywhere from 12 to 24 hours so not that much time at all and if you can get overnight shipping I would definitely suggest that I've never had a problem. So I did get three groups of fish with this order. The first of which is uh, OB Platinum Friar Eyes. I have a White Knight and Iceberg and the regular Cyanocomus Friar Eye in my 120 gallons. And I was thinking of putting some females in there with them. So we're going to grow these out in the pond. Again, the pond was empty until now. So getting all these small, you know, one to two inch fish in there. Uh, they're going to be able to grow very fast. The second group I got were the Star Sapphires. I got five of those. I do have a male in the 120 gallon tank, um, but no females. So um, if I got five, uh, hopefully half of those will be females. And then we got six Super Red Empress OBs. These are probably the smallest ones, but the ones I'm most excited for. His line looked really nice. We add these fish into the pond. I'm gonna be showing you images of what the breeders of these fish look like. One of the main advantages of buying fish this size is the price. Most of these fish were between nine and $12 a fish. And when you compare that to a male that's, you know, three, four inches where you're paying anywhere between 30 and $45 and probably not even for this quality for this quality you're gonna have to pay more than that but it is worth it but one thing you do have to keep in mind is where you're getting your fish from because when they're small fry you cannot tell what the fish actually are so make sure whoever you're buying it from they're reputable and, or you've got them fish from them before and they actually turned out to be what they are so as we're putting these fish in the tanks i'm going to be showing you images of what the breeders look like from cichlid lovers website
So I let the fish settle in for a while, probably about three or four hours, and then fed them. Uh, most of them did eat. They seem very happy in the tank. They certainly have a lot of room to explore and play. I'm hoping that they all get along, which they're more or less the same size, and they're all haps, so they shouldn't be too aggressive. I didn't have any problems out here with the peacocks, only with the embunas. The embunas, for some reason, in the pond, they didn't do too well. I'm not sure if it was because of all the rainwater we were getting, but I didn't have problems with peacocks, but I did with embuna. Hopefully, these guys will be good out here. They have a lot of room to grow, and I hope to be updating you guys maybe once a month on these guys. I'll go take the net in there, and we'll get an update of what they look like. We'll check if any of the females are holding, and if they are, well turns out we have little breeding groups so the plan with these guys overall is going to be as you guys might have heard from a previous video we're going to be moving here in the next year and when we do set up our fish room we're going to have tons of tanks uh, for breeding groups at the moment i only have a couple tanks for breeding groups and we're pretty much out of space so this little project seemed like a good way to go at it raise these fish while we're waiting on the move and uh, by the time we do move maybe they'll be big enough and they'll already be creating babies for us so yeah it was a very exciting day for us we were looking forward to getting these fish for the past two weeks we ran some polls and questionnaires and stuff on instagram uh seeing what our audience on there wanted uh, us to get more than anything and it was between these three fish plus i think the blue neons but unfortunately the blue neons they did not have enough of those if you watched this far i really appreciate it please give the video a big thumbs up i have some suggestions for you to watch next here at the end on the top right is my most recent video on the bottom right is a playlist that i would recommend for you on the top left is the video that youtube recommends for you and on the bottom left is a subscribe link. I'll see you on the next one.